hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Oh, my God. 
find Nathan and take him down. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise. Kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. I could love to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. Luke, I almost I didn't just see wish you. Some... Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? Oh wait, I did see Nathan today, nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beat down. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code, VIP section, elitist bullshit. Preach it, Brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Thanks for seeing me. No, thank you for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Hiding or something? <laughs> Bigfoot on otter action. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to you. Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit clock. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Maximum overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, 
Have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus! You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Chloe must be around. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. vomiting for like an hour. Good night, sweet prince. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. Ugh, gross. How did this even get here? Coming in, sister. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. That VIP section is so lame. I heard they wouldn't like Pete Marsh in the Vortex Club. Who pays you for all worse than my dad? I feel selfish going yes, to a party but after can this you week. Do? Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? I think my photo is very... 
very powerful. But we'll see. Victoria, your pictures. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me and everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet, but it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I went with her. I hope she's okay. Oh good, Chloe's here. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it! Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson! <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole 
Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, but I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. Max, we can please die, hurry. okay? Oh, God, Max, look. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look out. What the fuck?
Tuesday.